Hello everyone, welcome to the lair. Today we have Rattenreich Early Access. This was one of my most anticipated RTS games of 2024. So we'll check how it holds up. It is Early Access, so I shouldn't judge it as harshly as I would the full release, but still. Let's see if it's worth a buy right now. Let's jump right in. Really quickly, if you are subscribed, thank you for that. If you are not subscribed yet, join the Goblin Tribe so you don't miss out on anything. What is Rat and Reich? It's an RTS game. It's very similar to the likes of Man at War or Company of Heroes, but you play as vermin. So you have mice, you have cockroaches, you have lizards and you have rats. Cockroaches right now are not in the game. They are planned to be released later on. I think it's a DLC, I'll talk about it later on. I don't like DLCs announced before the full game is out, because this is an early access, but it is what it is. So here we see me trying to catch a point. With the points that you catch, you get uh, resources, and with the resources, you build your army. There is, of course, no base building in this game, because as I said, it is similar to Company of Heroes, where there is no base building. So you will have to manage your units very, very carefully with what you have. Right now you have three infantry units available for you. Level 1 costs 45, level 2 is 75 and then level 3 is 105 supply, which goes up periodically. It does depend a little bit on how many points you do have in your control. So the more points you have, the better the rate of your supply is so the more you can build and the more you can recuperate your losses which you will have i have to say the core gameplay is quite fun the combat is good the action is good but there is problems and you will see the problems really really quickly here i'm trying to cross this bridge for some reason the grenade went somewhere i didn't want to throw it but it is what it is and then I was trying to cross the bridge, trying to destroy these machine guns. It's an all-out attack because there is no other way to go. If I would go the other way, I would get killed. But we made it, except for this dude here. Now, why didn't he make it? Well, because pathfinding. Uh, pathfinding in this game, as of now, is just not good. And it will happen many, many times that half of your army will just not accept your orders, even if you group them. Uh, actually, I found it worse if I grouped them in, like, you know, control one, two, three, then you have three groups, you can send them. But for some reason, selecting all of them worked a little bit better than when I grouped them. Here you can see me kiting the enemy um, so they don't get to their machine guns which are very strong against my infantry, of course. There is just infantry right now in the game, so you will not be able to control vehicles. Uh, and this worked. This actually worked. I hope they fix that uh, later on, because if the little... I think the rats... I think if the little rat would just go to the machine gun, I would be obliterated, but they didn't decide to do so, which is good for me. Another <laughs> unit here stuck i can't send them anywhere and then i had to go around with them and that happens way too many times even here i can see two of them just standing there in the lower left corner and they, they just don't go anywhere that happened way too much again i understand this is early access i understand the developer they had a lot of problems because they are from ukraine and they're is still a war there and it will not finish anytime soon from you know what we all know but still maybe then you don't put the early access out just yet maybe wait a little bit i understand again they're a small studio uh, they require funding it would be maybe better to ask for some fundraising because this game does have eyes on it it does have a lot of people who would help who would uh, go out and donate some money to them if they need something for the development. Early access right now, I don't think it's the right idea 
because as much as there is glimpses of a very very fun game here it doesn't really work that's the problem half of the time it doesn't work i had some crashes i had some um, just units not listening to me and I know that there is no, there was no uh, failed mission state in the first two missions. There is in the mice one because if the daughter of a general dies, then you have to restart. And it was very, very frustrating to play that mission. Sadly, I couldn't record it because the crashes didn't allow me to do so. But that was very frustrating because the units wouldn't listen to me, and I have to protect a uh, vehicle, a convoy, basically, right? And if your units don't listen to you, if they don't do what you tell them when the stakes are so high, the mission will not be successful. Now, I did manage to beat the mission after trying and trying and trying again, banging my wall, my head against the wall with, you know, units just not listening to me. But it was very frustrating. It wasn't fun. And that's what the game strives to be it tries to be fun tries to be tactical at this moment not really it's not really tactical because most of the time i just decided to select all units and go all out with the attack because that was the best options like right here i did take these two mortars and i did uh kind of soften the position of my enemy before but then when it was time to take uh, this checkpoint right here which you have to do I just kind of stormed the position I didn't I had groups but I didn't send one left once you know through the middle and one to the right to kind of try to or, or something like a uh, pincer maneuver which is a very very well known tactic in war it just wasn't needed it actually if I would do it that would be to my detriment I, I would suffer more losses and then I would have to call in the units again and uh, wait for them. So, right now on screen you can see I'm not doing much um, of uh, tactical warfare right here. Because the pathfinding would basically make it worse for me. And that is a big problem with the game right now. It's... A lot of things are broken, a lot of things need fixing, and they need them really fast. I will not deduct points for having just free mission plus a tutorial right now. That I will not do because the missions can last quite some time. Uh, you, like this one, I think I did it in uh, half an hour or so. So that's okay, it's early access, you know. Uh, it's not a full game, we are aware that it's an early access, so the free missions that are there, it's enough for now, I will say, so no points deducted there. There are some little tactical decisions, like right there I had to destroy a vehicle, so I threw the uh, anti-vehicle grenade, you have to put on masks, because the mice will try to gas you. And here's another example of Uni just not doing anything and these two were left behind. Uh, at one point I did lose half an army because the other half didn't listen to me and I just didn't notice that they are not there. Uh, which it will happen because the action when it's happening it's good and you will be focused on it and you will not even see that you're missing some units. Uh, so you will notice it when it's slightly too late. Well, I say too late, this mission is pretty uh, straightforward, so I just had to wait for more dudes to be produced. And that's how I could manage to do the mission. The problem is this should have been a play test before it went into early access, I think. Because I know people say any press is good press, but when people buy the game, they do expect fun functionality, even a basic functionality, even if it's an early access, they expect the game to work, they expect the AI to have some basic understanding of pathfinding, which right now it doesn't. 
and that is a problem so at this moment I would recommend that you wait that they fix some game breaking bugs uh, but don't you know ignore it have it in your eyes because it can be good now here we have the roadmap so right now we are at early access steam one and we have some units we have some uh, missions then we have q4 2024 more missions and um AI capability expansion which is sorely sorely needed right now Q2 2025 more units more uh, modes AI skirmish mode is coming which for now the roadmap looks good right but then we have Q4 2025 and a little thing that is there is DLC campaign now I would not put that on <laughs> right now in the state that the game currently is I wouldn't put a DLC on the roadmap because I don't think it's really appropriate at this moment because the game just came to the early access and we are already getting like a DLC which seems to be the case with a lot of games today they are already focused on DLCs when the basic game isn't even in the state that it should be and I really hope they kind of reconsider this. I know it's Q4 2025. I know it's almost one year, uh, more than one year actually ahead. But this game has been in development for more than five years already. Around five years, I'll say. And the state is not what I would expect for a game that is developed for so long. Again, I understand there was there's war and there's uh, they, they lost some uh, progress because of it, but still, it's five years. It's a lot of time. I really wish that I could recommend that you buy it right now, but I just can't. And as I said in previous videos, this channel strives to have honest reviews, even though I do sympathize with the developers, even though I do want this game to succeed. I will still give you an honest opinion and right now in this state you will not enjoy the game and you will be spending your money for it so I just can't recommend it right now so should you buy it no should you keep an eye on it yes definitely keep an eye on this one because there is a lot of potential and I do have faith in the developers for the future so I hope it will be good. So this was Rat and Reich. If you enjoyed the video, comment down below, subscribe, join the Goblin Tribe. There is much, much more games coming, RTS games and some other ones. I do have V Rising giveaway next week, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, Goblin out. Bye.